Alright, now let us discuss the tutorial question 1. A hydrogen gas thermometer is found to have a volume of 100 cm cube when placed in, a, in an ice water bath at 0 degrees Celsius. When the same thermometer is immersed in a boiling liquid chlorine, the volume of hydrogen at the same pressure is found to be 87.2 cm cube. Uh, uh, calculate the temperature of the boiling point of chlorine. Okay, so let us extract the information we have in the question. First of all, we have a volume here at this temperature. So we can take this as a volume one, and this as a this one is as the temperature one. And then uh, we have the uh, another volume. 87.2 put in the chlorine boiling liquid chlorine okay so this one we take as volume 2 and uh, the boiling uh, the temperature of the boiling chlorine okay so this is the uh, the, we want to find the temperature for this volume 2 so this is the temperature 2 okay uh, provided the condition here, he says that uh, same pressure. Okay, same pressure. Okay, the so same pressure means um, uh, constant pressure. Okay, the pressure is constant. Okay, uh, constant pressure. Now, uh, so uh, I put the I put down the information here. We have volume one, temperature one, volume two, temperature two. Okay, uh, I uh, arrange it systematically. One, the one at the left hand side, two at the right hand side. Okay, so easy for you to extract the information. And then I found that the unit they are all not in SI unit. Yeah, we have cm cube here, and then we have degree Celsius. All this unit you have to convert to SI unit. So the volume, uh, volume one, okay, the cm cube I change to meter cube. So the centi is uh, centi is negative two, centi is negative two, power three, so negative six. Okay, same goes to eighty-seven point two cm cube. Okay, this one also this centi centimeter cube is exponent negative six uh, meter cube. Uh, the degree Celsius, okay, for this chapter, remember all the temperature you have to convert to Kelvin. Okay, we must always use the absolute temperature. Okay, uh, because this is the single temperature, uh, we have to change to Kelvin. Yeah, in this chapter, always change to Kelvin. So, uh, to change to Kelvin, plus 273. Yeah, uh, plus 273, then you get Kelvin. Now you want to find temperature 2. Okay, provided the pressure is constant. Okay, so this is actually using Charles law. Okay, Charles law, pressure constant. So pressure is not in the equation. We only have between volume and temperature. Uh, so uh, this one V2 over T2 equal to V1 over T1. So we just substitute all the information. Okay, all the information already in SI unit. Remember, before you substitute into the equation, all the, uh, all the uh, quantity must change to SI unit first, especially the temperature must change to Kelvin first. Okay? Alright, so let's substitute. Let us substitute the information. Uh, volume 2 is um, 87.2 87 uh, exponent negative 6. Okay, already in SI unit. Uh, okay, underline. And then we want to find temperature 2. And then uh, volume 1 is um, 100 exponent negative 6. Uh, and then uh, we want temperature 1. Temperature 1 is 273. Okay, uh, this one is in Kelvin, remember? And then so the finally the temperature we get is a uh, uh, temperature two we get is a two three eight point zero six Kelvin. That's it. Okay, using Charles law. That's for question one. Okay, answer in Kelvin. All right. Thank you.